Um, oh. Yeah, I sent a message to Jeff this week to see if he was okay, but I haven't heard back from him, so that's not good. Yeah, I was just thinking about him within the last week that, uh, you know, somebody we hadn't hey, seen. Pete. Hey, Pete, I sent a message to Jeff, but I haven't oh. heard back from him. Wow. So I hope he's okay. Me too. Yeah, wow. Thanks for trying. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to say too much about the reunion because I know he probably can't make it. Yeah. But um, we have to try to figure out some some Zoom way or something to get people that can't make it kind of involved in the reunion a little bit. Sure. If we're oh, all that'd up be there. great. Yeah. Especially Jeff and, um, you know, I don't know if Snake's going to make it. And I know that... Um, Mike Johnson needs oxygen. And yeah. I think that'd be kind of hard if you need oxygen to be traveling across the country. Yeah, I would I think so too. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Come to think of somebody that, that needs oxygen, how do they live in, in a mile high city? Well, I guess because that's where <laughs> he lived all of his life. <laughs> but no, nah, that's, yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of teasing about that. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he's come down to Earth like we're at, and he's got more oxygen right there. Yeah, that's true. I never thought of that, but that's true. I remember being up in Denver with my kids, and they were young. And, man, when we hit 10,000 feet, the one kid would throw up, and the other kid would just be asleep. <laughs> oh. Well, I, uh, on, on that same note, when I was with Disney, when I first joined in 79, Eastern Airlines was the official airline of Disney. Well, but two years later, Eastern bought out Braniff's South American routes. And Disney wanted to go there to uh, welcome the new employees. I mean, I should say, the, Eastern wanted to welcome the new employees, and Disney wanted to send the marketing team. Our first, we made two trips. Our first trip went to, and they brought the Banjo Kings and the five characters, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, and well, whoever. Anyway, uh, so our first uh, trip was to Bogota and Cali, Colombia, uh, and uh, Ecuador. <laughs> now they're up like 10,000 feet. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're honking on a tuba with that minimum uh, oxygen. So a lot of us uh, got a little dizzy there. And okay. I was telling a friend of mine is a retired airline pilot. And he said, yeah, he, he at one time worked for Brandon. And then he ended up with the US Air. But he said, yeah, he would fly to South America. He said, we had to be careful to turn off the automatic oxygen thing where they tell you to turn it off down. He said, because if they forgot to turn that off and they were coming in for a landing, all of them would drop out they would have to one by one put them back. Hey, Rick. Hey, what's hey, up, Rick? Guys? Oh, hey. Rick, long time no see. You're not cooking fish today. No, it's all gone, all over. Yeah, doing good. What kind of fish did you have? Catfish oh, and shrimp looks like and all that. He was doing fish fries for four weeks. Fish fries for Lent and everything. Hey, David, did you get any bad weather up in your area, Carolina? No, no, everything was, lovely. Was, I mean, a little extra wind uh, yeah. today, but that's all. It looked like some of that stuff that came through here went up your way. I, I didn't know. I was just and we had a windy day today. It was windy here, too. Yeah, now, our, we're not Catholic, but the local Catholic church would have fish fry for Lent. That's what we're doing, yeah. That's what we did. And it was, I mean, it was like, you know, 10 bucks for all you can eat. Well, that's not bad. We had nine dollars. They should come down here. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to drive. All right, yeah, long drive for a dollar. <laughs> anyway, am I doing good? 
Yeah. 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 Woke up on the right side of the grass. Didn't see wood or dirt or fire, huh? No. No, That's good. (laughs) Yeah, we were just talking about Colorado and people coming for the reunion. Oh, yeah. And, you know, like Mike Johnson has an oxygen thing, so it's going to be tough for him. And I think yeah. he's going to be a snake. He probably wouldn't be able to come. Uh, he says he will, but Barry but, keeps pushing him. But Barry pushes enough that people just say, yeah, I'll come. Yeah. Um, so I was saying maybe we could get, if we all go end up up there, maybe we do some kind of Zoom thing some a couple times so that the people that can't come can be included. Well, that'd be good. Are you, you going, Tom? Well, you're close. Right. Okay. I'm hoping they change the weekend because my kid's supposed to be in town that weekend, and oh, okay. that makes it tough. But um, yeah, he, he's going to be here for some kind of business thing, so he might gonna not be a, around. So I might be able to come up for a day or two. Gonna be up in New Haven. Yeah, yeah. And Jeff, um, I I sent Jeff a, a message this week to see if he's okay because he hasn't been on for a while, but he oh, didn't yeah. answer, so that's not good. Um, hmm. so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, the um, Speaking of snake. Oh, hey, snake. Hey, snake. We we're just talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have to talk about somebody else now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, I mailed your stuff to you today. Oh, good. Thank you for all your help. No problem. Glad to do it. He's your bookie, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. The um, <clears throat> you know, one of the um, benefits of of moving to Western North Carolina is the fall colors oh. and you know, third week of, of October is, you know, good time up here. You know, if anybody's going to be visiting us, they'll visit then. Yeah. We, we've taken I'm several, sure. you know, Smoky Mountain vacations around October, that kind of, that's beautiful. Up there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm sure Connecticut's good too, but like I say, if we have any, you know, family coming to visit, that's a, that's a prime time for them to come. Yeah. I, I'd have no idea. I'd love to go. We just have to wait and see, you know. Peter, you going or? I'm going. My, going. My, my niece lives in uh, Darien, Connecticut, so we're going to go visit. Oh, okay. And uh, fun time. Dave, I was yeah. going to ask you, where in uh, Western North Carolina are you? Um, about 25 miles west of Asheville. Okay. And what's the name of the town? Uh, Waynesville. Waynesville, North Carolina. Oh, okay. so you, can stop, you can just stop by and pick, and pick David up. <laughs> we're we're like um, thirty miles from um, Gatlinburg. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's just the other side of the smoke. We're we're right on the edge of the Smokies. I mean, I mean, we got these little mountains around us, but uh, no kidding. If you if I drive like uh, 14, 15 miles from the house. There's um, an access to the. It's not one of the main the entrances, park. but it's part of the um, of the Mountain oh. National Park. But the big it's, question is, yeah. how far are you from Pigeon Forge? Well, that that makes it about forty miles, I guess. Forty yeah, five. Pigeon miles. Forge would be the other side, wouldn't it, Gatlinburg? Yeah. Yeah, that's Dollywood. Yeah. Dollywood. Yeah. Love Dollywood. We had it. We went there twice. We had a great time with the kids. Really, I've, I've never. I've been up there a bunch of times. I've never been to it Dollywood was, though. You know, you you usually go to these parks, and if you, especially if you have little kids, you get really ripped off. Oh yeah, yeah. And I remember it got to be lunchtime. It was like you, if you went after three o'clock, you got in for the second day for free. So we did that. So that gave us two days there. It got to be lunchtime. I thought, oh, this is going to be expensive. And it was like two fifty <laughs> for a hot dog dinner and. The music was great because every time you turned a corner, there was some other kind of music, you know, like there was opera house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Every time you turned, there was somebody playing music or there was a group playing music. How, how big is the place? Is, is it, it's not near the size of any of the Disney World, anything like yeah, that. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's okay. You know, it's not the greatest. When I, when I lived in Nashville back in the mid, well, after the late 70s, they had Opryland there. Yeah, and um, and it, it was really nice. It, uh, yeah. you know, it, we used to go there. Everybody, time everybody would come into town, you know, guess where we had to go? Opryland. Right. You know, put them up at our house and go to Opryland. But it was a lot of fun. You know, played one of those things with my. Uh, she was six or seven. My stepdaughter Angie wanted to 
pitch the, the penny or the nickel, or whatever it was, to a plate. You know, you never do it. Well, guess who did? Bing, <laughs> land right in it. What, what, I won a teddy bear about my size, had to carry it around all, all damn day. <laughs> did you ever go to the Grand Old Opry? Yeah, a bunch of times. Oh, I love, I, we went, Emily went there. Emily was in town for a convention. I said, we got to go to the opera. She, she didn't want to go. And I said, yes, we do. We got to go. Even if you're not a country music fan, you would yeah. enjoy it. Because it's just, it's unique, you know. Yeah. And, uh, it's it's not, it wasn't, it, when I went, it wasn't in uh, Ryman Auditorium. It was in the new right. Opera Land building. Uh, right. You know, yeah. um, That's where it was for us. Yeah. And I remember um, <laughs> this like 80 year old woman was, the, was start, she started out with the show and every, they only sing three songs. Oh, so yeah. like the, per the performer, it's no big deal because they're going to be gone. But this 80-year-old woman was singing, the key's in the mailbox, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, oh, the guy who, um, the fa this famous guy was it was the headliner. Um, yeah, we had some, some big names when we were there at different times. I can't remember who they were. It's been a long time ago. Yeah, well, this guy was, he's a really good performer. And he's so good, I can't remember his name. I remember Grandpa Joey. Yeah. Well, Grandpa, I saw he was there something. Yeah, he was still yeah. alive. Yeah. But um, I don't remember who. All. But this guy, this headliner, I mean, he comes in, he looks like he had been working on his car and said, oh, I got to go and perform. Drives <laughs> up, you know, kind of in his old shirt and stuff and plays these couple of great songs, talks about um, Sonic driving, how he's getting fat because Sonic has some special deal on malt <laughs> after eight o'clock and it was great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Opryland was a lot of fun. I enjoyed Opryland. It was a lot yeah. of fun. They tore it down. It's just a shopping mall there now. Oh, really? Plus, they have the Opryland Hotel that's still there. Yeah, I stayed it, there. One my wife's sister lives in Hendersonville. Hendersonville? Oh, my stepson uh, lives in Hendersonville. North of Nashville. Yeah. Just north of Nashville. Yeah. You know? right. It's nice. Yeah. So, what else has been going on? Snake, what's happening in, De in um, Denver? Well, I had uh, over two feet that last weekend. Right. Jesus. What's yeah. it like now? It's all gone now. Is it Except nice? where they plowed, you know, yeah. the, uh, the piles. But uh, now it's pretty well gone. I know you. But you will notice that you were, you were snowed in for a while. You couldn't get, couldn't get out to the mailbox or anything, you know? <laughs> well, there were, uh, it's going to be 80 today. Yeah. Wow. 80. It's 63 here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Kent was wow. telling me that it was the snow was good because you guys needed a lot of water. Well, you, in a the, drought. Mountains, the mountains still need the reservoir filled up too. Yeah, for, for the spring. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, they got uh, <laughs> there's one one uh, place in the mountains got five feet. Five feet. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's a lot of snow. A lot of snow. <laughs> wow. Well, I used to um. I used to travel with the National Symphony for 20 years, and this and my one friend played the contrabassoon, and he he got it before he played in the symphony. He, he taught in Wisconsin, and he went to work there, and he moved into this house, and they gave him snowshoes. And he's like, "What are these for? What am I going to use these for?" And then he woke up one morning and he had to go out the attic window because there was so much snow. Wow. Stuff I've never been in. A friend of mine said he was going to tie a snow shovel to the front of his car and drive south until somebody asked him what that is. Hey guys. <laughs> hey Mike. Hey, John. hey Mike. Hi. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I, mean, I can turn Rick's. He's coming back, I guess. No. <clears throat> Marty Fay. It says that he's on, but he never talks. So. He doesn't have a camera, so he's on a phone. All I do is see his name. And he was here when I got him. So I guess we missed him. But, hey, Rick. I'm back. You got to quit talking about me now. Well, we, weren't, we were just listening to your conversation. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. We were wondering if you were delivering fish sandwiches. No. I'm so sick of catfish, I don't want to see catfish for another one. I'm sure uh, you we have we the our, church, our Catholic church here did cod. Cod? Oh, okay. That's what they did, did up there. Real disappointment. We did catfish and shrimp. 
You had about three weeks of that injury. Four. Four? Four weeks, yeah. Is that a charity thing? Mm-hmm. It all goes to the church. Plus, we get a lot of fish. We get to eat a lot of fish and shrimp. <laughs> That's, I mean, you know, and hush puppies and everything else. It was, it was good. I'm tired of it, though. Everybody's so glad it's over. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. But, you know, it's all right. It reminds me of Catholic school. Yeah. Once a month, we had fish fries. So, Rick, were you the, uh, in the working in the kitchen or seating the people? I was taking the money. <laughs> ah. It was, it, was strict, it was strictly a pickup and take out. You couldn't eat any of them, not this year. Oh. So we just, they, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, supposedly, if, we, if you get vaccinated, that, you know, the CDC is now saying you can travel and stuff. And, you know, this the last weekend we had some people in the backyard and that was really nice. No, that yeah, was, yeah. We, we've had both hours. I finally got, I finally got my second one. Yeah. Good. The first That's one, uh, I had symptoms after the first one. Really? I was down for a whole day. Huh. I heard. Second. I didn't have any symptoms at all. A little bit of sore shoulder. My wife, the second shot, she got like all of a sudden her jaw just like a the lymph gland started swelling up and it's really sore. She couldn't eat hardly or anything and. And uh, she called and, and she, she researched and found out that that's a symptom of the Moderna. Sometimes you get a, a like it, up in here, it just really hurts. For, and the, but it went down after a couple of days, it's back to normal. I had yeah. Moderna too, but it didn't affect me that way. I didn't have anything. Yeah, That's more of a, a female thing. A lot of, they have a lot of that for some reason. I, don't know. Yeah, I was right. tired the second day. After that second evening, I was tired, but that was about it. But Son aren't you tired every day? Yeah, <laughs> kind of pretty healthy. I mean, he he the second oh, day he had Moderna, he's, yeah. he he was gonna die. It was like tough. Who? Elliot, my oldest son. Oh, Elliot. Oh, yeah. He's you know he's like thirty five, but uh, he got over it after a day. Wow. Well, yeah, my wife was. Uh, we both had the Moderna, and That's what we I had, had no I had no issues with the shot, and but she did. And somebody said it depends on your. You, what month you're born in? Really? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> born under the wrong sign, you have you have symptoms, huh? <laughs> mm, who knows? <laughs> My sister and I had the had the shots on the same day, and I didn't have any problems on the second one. Maybe a little bit of tiredness or something after a four day, but my sister didn't feel too good for two or three days but nothing major serious oh. stuff mm -hmm. you know kind of washed out and i mean you want to feel kind of something thing. so you know the stuff's working <laughs> yeah. you get the, the sore what, what what did you have the moderna or the Pfizer? or my uh moderna moderna yeah, that's I'm, what we did i've read some things mm -hmm. stuff my sister that say that people that give some people will get reactions to it and that's okay it's just uh, it's the, normal whatever working its way into your no, system and your mean. system accepting it in there and adjusting to it. So. Now, Did you my, see the thing about uh, Johnson and Johnson yeah. having yeah. to toss out 15 the, million doses? 15 million. Jeez. Yeah. Someone's yeah, not going to get it. That's the doing the production on it. On it uh, I can't think of the name of the company. It starts with me, but the company that they make both for Johnson and Johnson or for either Pfizer or Moderna, Moderna in the same building, but two separate sections. Oh. Huh. Wow, that's a lot of lot of lot of uh, doses to lose. Fifteen million. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, none yeah. of them went out to the public. They caught it in well, yeah. in their testing and everything. And uh, you're right; it just sets their program back a little bit. But yeah. you know, yeah, someone's not going to get a good employee review. <laughs> 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 I guess only <laughs> some intern. Yeah, you know. College interns, and oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. And then they screw it up. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Here comes Hoss. Hey, Hoss, how you doing? You muted, Barry. Sorry, right, turn your volume up. Or you... Wake up, Barry. <laughs> turn your audio on. Yeah, he's got it now, I think, huh? Maybe. Just playing hard to get. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. 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 Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Oh, Barry. Oh. Hey, Barry. Hey. 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 
Who's yeah. that? Good to see you. Been at Fritzel's, I see, huh? Yeah. Hey, Marty, it's good to see you. Oh, we can't see you. Well, Marty's been on the whole time, but I've, he hasn't said anything. So I don't know if he's on or if it's a mistake or what. Or if he tried to get on and it just stayed. <coughs> hmm. but don't talk. Last week, Marty was on. It was just audio, but no video, I think, right? Yeah, there's no, on his thing that I see, there's no camera. So he's just trying to get on yeah. with his phone. But oh. maybe he's listening. Hey, Mike, Jenkins, what do you got on your hand? Um, oh, goodness. Sir, sir, I had a, it's called a uh, trigger finger release. You ever had trigger finger? I've heard of it. It's, it's, it's they, uh, a real easy surgery yesterday, yesterday, and it's all better. I just have to keep the bandage on for a couple of days. You've been, having your, you've been having your thumb up your ass too long. <laughs> That's my left hand. That's my left hand. <laughs> He's been using the middle finger too much. <clears throat> and got I give my right arm. I, I give my right arm to be ambidextrous. <laughs> Hello, Jim. Yeah. Hi. Hi, guys. What's new and different? Oh, you. Uh, we wait for you to come on. Give us all the news. Well, yeah. I, I, I somehow, I, I, I had a. Inadvertently erased the uh, the uh, the uh, link. We had to go looking for it and find it in the trash pile. But I found it, and here I am. So big deal. Well, good. Well, good to big see you. Well, things are moving on. Is is Marty here? No, no I see. I see his well, he's, he's not. I, we haven't heard him. He's he's been on ever since I got on, but uh -huh. I, he hasn't said anything. So I don't know if it's a mistake or if he's just listening or what. <clears throat> Well, he's. <laughs> we had a Zoom yesterday with Joel, and it's it's uh, his his Zoom is not working right, or 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 something something's amiss. Let's put it that way. I don't I don't know what the problem is. Marty's or Joel's? Marty's. Yeah. Well, Joel is a. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Let me see if I can get my earphones working. Yeah, Joel is a complete klutz when it comes to Zoom. It's just it's just it's a nightmare to get him on a get him on the uh, team. But anyway, it looks like we're going to move the thing back a week uh, sooner. Good. So be the week before the 22nd. That's good uh, news. And uh, Marty's been uh, busy trying to find us uh, a better hotel and a venue that are close to each other. So so where we can play. And uh, he's got some progress, but uh, I don't I don't think I don't think he's got a contract yet, but it's best to ask him. Mm -hmm. Tell us the date. What did you say the date to? Well, instead of the 22nd to the 24th, it'll be whatever that is, the 15th to the 17th. To the... And that's October. Yeah. That's good news. Is that, is that okay? Still, is that okay? That's with still tentative, right? Is that still tentative, Jim? No, I'm okay. Well, it's tentative until we get a contract from the uh, the venues and the hotels, but uh, he's uh, Marty is negotiating with him. Okay, great. I'll put I, it like it. I like it myself because the the percentages for better weather are earlier in the month. Right. Yeah. August August is a great month, but it starts out you know nice and warm, kind of like summery, and then by the end of the month it turns into fall. And the leaves are falling off the trees, and when you get there in the middle of the month, that uh, the percentages are much better. <laughs> Of course, in New, in New England, the weather gets screwy. I mean, we had 65 degrees here last week. Last night, it was 17 degrees. Tonight, it's going to be 20 degrees. Tomorrow, it's going to be 60. So it, yes. it's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> but it's always weird. So, I mean, it's normal. It must hurt having your sinuses slam shut like that all the time. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what drives you crazy is the humidity that goes with it. When it was 60, the humidity was like 40%, very comfortable. And then when the cold weather, when that jet stream swoops down and that Arctic air comes flooding into New England, it uh, it uh, the, the the humidity drops to about fifteen or twenty percent. And you know your nose is dry. It gets a, it's a, you know your eyes start to squeak. <laughs> Get up the industrial chapstick. Huh? Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Anyway, it's fun. We learn to live with it. Well, Jim, we we saw the the performance list. That Joel came out with, and I got. Go ahead. Well, I talked to him 
my friend Mike Gentry about it. There's about 10, 15 songs on the list we never heard of. <laughs> Not Tell even, me about it. We can't play it, but in one reason we can't play because we never heard of it. And then there's another five or ten songs that are great songs, but they're not mustache songs. I agree. I, I made exactly those points to him when I we when we talked yesterday, and uh, he he sent it out anyway. You know, I think what and this is my opinion. I think I've talked to Barry and other people about this. Your father's mustache had this circle of music, whatever it is, inside the circle good outside the circle we don't mess with and we're trying to be we're trying to be a lounge act that goes in and, and pleases everybody with the, the 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 journey through the 50s and 60s and 70s that you go down to any holiday inn it's got an, an organ player with a, with a drum machine and um a chick singer and they do the same thing maybe i'm wrong you're not wrong am oh. i wrong i mean, I'm not. I, I know Joe. I know Joe wants to be more than what we were there. I understand that, but I think we're we're stepping out of our element, Jim. I thought Carnegie Hall had all our old mustache songs. They uh, seemed to go yeah, pretty big. The yeah, one did. I said the, the yeah. Carnegie Hall. That was the only one I got to go to, and I I I, I enjoyed being able to sing to every song that I knew, like. Because we did like, a strictly mustache show, yeah. what we used to do. Yeah. Right. right. It was right. old muscle memory. I just opened my mouth and all the right words came out. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Barney, are you on? Diane. Marty, it's good to see you again. Oh, we can't see you. Right. Hey, Billy. Good, good, good to hear, hear that you're alive, Marty. A minute ago, I couldn't even hear you. Good. Well, that's an, that's an improvement. Well, the pleasure's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the song hey, list. Anyway, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to vent there. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm... No, yeah, vent away. I mean, and, and, and I think you ought to make your thoughts known to Joel, too. Just, just send him a note saying, gee, Joel, <laughs> the song's on here we never heard of. Yeah, he, he can't fire you at this point. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You're funny, babe. And and I, you know, if it wasn't if it wasn't on those three albums that came out, I don't think we should do it. That's you know, okay. Michael rode the boat ashore. Yes, we did that. Yes, we did things like uh, uh yes, we have no bananas, da, 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 da. but there were novelty songs, they were not meant yeah. to be fine extravaganzas. Sure. I, thought, yeah. I thought it was Michael Roll, the Polish whore. That was my <laughs> yeah. Sit down, sit down, Peter. Yeah. That's the way Barry yeah. said it. Peter. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I like our alternative lyrics better than the originals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some, of, some, of, some of those songs are like that. Well, some of them are good songs, but we never played them. I don't remember us doing Marzi Notes and on no. the mustache. Well, that's on purpose anyway. Yeah, I, do. Kind of I, I, I do. I remember that one very well. Yeah, we used to do that one. Yeah, not, all, not all the time, but not all the time, but frequently. Yeah, I mean. It's like the very, very first tune in the list, Kim. It's a hot time in the old town tonight. Great song. Verse yep. and chorus. Is there a verse? That's what I said to him. I said, what the hell is this verse? <laughs> That's what that. I said. <laughs> Late last night when we There's were There's a couple more like that. You, you are my sunshine <laughs> verse. There's a verse? I didn't know that. Me thought, either. That's a new one on me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You are my, the other night, dear, when we lay sleep. There's a, it's the same melody, but it's a different word. And you go back and do you are my I thought it was when I lay Shirley. I oh, is that what, okay? That might be what he's called. <laughs> and he's got Johnny comes marching home in the World War One medley. I don't, it? Think it, I don't think it belongs there. I think it was World War One. Yeah. Yeah. No. Civil War. Civil War. Civil War. Oh, okay. oh, was oh, it? That's, oh, oh, that's Johnny. Close. I'm sorry. It's close yeah, enough. Enough. In his World War Two medley, he's got White Cliffs of Dover. Yeah, I, I swear it's a great song, and I played it many times, but not the mustache. <laughs> I've got six pence. I know it, but I never played it the mustache. I, I, this is the Army, Mister Jones. You ever played the mustache? I didn't. Occasionally, when he was playing lead, we did these times. Even "Don't Sit Under the Apple Tree." It's a great tune, but 
I don't remember playing at the Mustache either New York or Cape Cod or New Orleans. Uh, I think we must be having generational issues here because I remember playing some of these. I, the lot I don't remember, but. Uh, How about the cowboy song, Shredded Ralston? What is that? What? Hot Ralston for your breakfast. Yeah, that one. It's called Shredded Never, never heard of it. <laughs> Well, you're, not, you're, not, you're not old enough, Michael. You're not old enough. <laughs> the Ralston song came from the Tom Mix radio show, and, and it was his theme song. Oh, boy. This will be a fun well, set. <laughs> well, if, if one out of nine of us know it, yeah. I can tell you that less than 5% of the audience are going to know it. Oh, for sure. Sure. Turn to page 77 in your songbook. Yes, something like that. Oh, oh God, that songbook. Song list. If I knew you were coming, I'd bake the cake. You want to be careful. Yeah. With, you want to be careful with that one. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, well, I guess uh, we could teach an old dog like me some new tricks. Shit, it's a little late for me to learn those songs, but who knows. I don't think I ever remember playing Flatfoot Fluji. No. 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 I know the song. I've played it. I've played it many times, but not the mustache. I think I've played it maybe twice in 60 years, but that's all. <laughs> You're doing twice as much as I did. That's that's a lot of, that's a, you know, there's a lot of songs in this thing that I just don't uh, know about. Uh, so, 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 Gim, 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 what do you suggest? What do you suggest we do? I suggest you, uh, you know, I'm not going to say set, set, ship Joel a note says we've seen your list and uh, you can shove it, you know. But uh, <laughs> yeah. the point uh, no. Peter said he can't fire you. That's you right. Be, no, be, be, be nice about it. The guy's uh, thinking hard. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I, right. when, I asked him, when I asked him about the song, what, the song list, would you please put together a song list so we can think about it? He said he'd send one in 20 minutes, and by God, he did. And uh, it's got uh, things on here, but uh, I asked him. I said, "Do you want to? Do you want to? Uh, in my pursuit of musicians, you want me to go chasing for dancers and girls so they can sing the song like Ruth or Banu or somebody like that, or do you want to? Do you want to put together like we did at Carnegie, uh, you know, uh, bands based on the clubs that they worked in?" He says, "No, oh, no, no, no. We're going to just do one just show all the way through." <laughs> and I said. Uh, uh, and then I said, "Don't don't make it too long because uh, you know we're old now. Remember, the, this, the song list here, for instance, is timed out. He's got it timed out to go a, a, an hour and a half." I said, "That means no, two hours." No way in God's world do I want to stand on my feet and play for two hours. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we got we got things to work out with him, but uh, you know, and I don't so what? You want to sit in a chair for two hours? Well, that's true. <laughs> You, you got hemorrhoids too, huh? Uh, <laughs> can, can, can y'all do the lazy boy version? Like, you know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, ship, hey, send them a note and that, that would be fine. I mean, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same thing now that I got a copy of it. Okay. Hey, Barry? I mean, uh, Billy and I only know a certain number of songs to, to sing to, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to sing all 150 of them anyway. So pick the 60 or 70, you know, and sing to those. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, he, he's, got, he's got Maggie in a Stephen Foster's movie. But did Stephen Foster write Maggie? I don't think. I don't think when so. You, when you and I were young, Maggie? Yeah. I, I guess that's what he means. That's a great song, but golly, you know. We, we did do that at the club, by the way. And we did it in G, too, now to think about it. <laughs> All right. Hey, He's, Barry, uh, do you, uh, by any chance, have the words written down for my iguana? I don't. No. What is it? My, my iguana. iguana. No. I, don't. I used to sing it. I used to sing it. It was, I mean, my good friend wrote it, but. I don't ever remember hearing that at the mustache when I was oh, there. My uh, no. No. I heard Steve Young do it. I didn't learn that song until, you know, much later. Mm -hmm. 
That was written by Ira Gutman and Danny Rubio. Right. Okay. Oh, really? My iguana. No. We recorded that. My, the jazz band I used to work with recorded that song. So we, I, so we used to play it frequently. I can say, mm -hmm. here's one for you. Claim to fame. I was the first guy to ever sing it. Good for you. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. Do you have the to do reason why I know that, when Danny finished writing it, he handed it to me and said, here, sing this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, my. Jim, something else to look at at this list we have. Sure. Just perusing, I think that the time that he's put down for the songs or medleys happening need to be at least looked at again or adjusted because You Are My Sunshine for four verses is not going to last five minutes. It's going to last a minute and a half, maybe. <laughs> okay. It all so, depends I mean, on how long a verse is that we never heard. <laughs> Yeah, one, I two, think you got to stick with the four. basic "You Are My Sunshine" that everybody knows, because huh? I'm sure they got a lot more verses than we've ever sang. <laughs> it's like well, that. he's got he's got what one, two, three, four, five, five choruses here. If you want to count the verses, choruses. Wow, and that's a minute, a minute a piece with a little bullshit getting into it and out of it. So well, mm -hmm. maybe five minutes, but probably wow. less. You're right. He's got one song for five banjo players, each taking a solo. That'll put everybody to sleep for sure. I would think Five so. Banjo solos. You're being kind, Barry. Yeah. <laughs> That'll put everybody to sleep, man. Five banjo <laughs> solos are the same Three song. Banjo players. <laughs> Barry, it'll be, we were it'll be like, Lord, help deliver us. We were at Oklahoma City or something like that. And I forget who was, I remember who was playing, but I'm not going to say who was playing. But it was like a trio or a quartet of, tuba and a couple of banjo players and a guitar player and they did like 45 choruses of lady be good oh yeah <laughs> try, trying to outdo each one on choruses and i like banjo and i like trombone and i like tuba it put me to sleep it really <laughs> really did it was giving me cramps google says that when you and i were young maybe maggie Two different things. One says it was written in 1866 by a guy named Tom Roush. And another one says it was 1864 by a couple of other guys. Uh, oh, man, thanks for looking at that. They came to Butterfield and lyrics by George Washington Johnson. A poem yeah. they were Canadian. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just can, we get back, uh, can we get back <laughs> up my heart hey, so we can... Yeah. I could use that Mike Johnson thing. I know you could. I knew you could. Oh, yeah. Teach it all dog yeah. tricks, brother. When you're doing the intro to the song, you can throw out that little tidbit. Oh, they'll love yeah. it. With the five choruses by banjos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in between each, even between each band, yeah. Joe, you can throw another tidbit in. This will be yeah. a really big show. And then later, yeah. and then later Rod Stewart did it. Thank you, May. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, this crowd's rolling today. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, we how, how does the, the, Gim. Gim how does the Wheaties commercial go? Anybody Wheaties heard of the Wheaties commercial? No. The Wheaties I'm commercial like and the Pepsi Cola commercial, those were probably their songs on their commercial 50, 60 years ago. <laughs> no, the, the, Pe the, Pepsi Cola, the Pepsi Cola commercial, I'm guessing. Yeah, right. Probably, you. Probably, probably, I want the world to sing. Probably that's the one from the Pepsi Cola. Oh, yeah. That's Pepsi Cola. Probably, I think yeah, it's that's Coke. Coke. That's Coca Cola. That's Coca Cola. That's Coca Cola. That's Coca -Cola. I want to teach the world yeah, to sing. That's Coca Cola. That's Coca Cola. That's Coke. Coke is yeah. That's a that's a Coke one. Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, yeah, yeah, that's Coke. The real thing. It's the real thing. Coke is. Yeah. No, I want the world to sing. Sing in perfect harmony. Yeah. Yeah. That's Coke. That was from that's the, Coke. I, I swear that was playing at the pavilion, at the World World Fair Pavilion in 1964 and five out in uh, Flushing Meadows. At the, I swear that was playing. <laughs> it could very well have been. That's the cola commercial, I and think, it was basically yeah, that's Coke. We'd say I'm Ira. Sure. Where are you guys? Hey, Ira. Where you go, Ira? Uh, Marty, how are we doing with the reunion? 
Cancel. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do it, but nobody wants to play any of the songs on the list. Oh, really? What songs? <laughs> Here we go. Tell me the way I go home? That one by Ira Gutman, My Iguana. How about the one Ira and Danny wrote? That's the one. Susquehanna Park. Yeah. Susquehanna Park. Oh, look, let, let me tell these guys about that one. Yeah. So, they, so they said, We got this new song we wrote. This was Ira and Danny. Yeah. Let, let me hear it. I was the scapegoat, you know, the guinea pigs or whatever. So it, it was called Susquehanna Park. And all I remember, it went like this it went da 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 da. Da 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 in Susquehanna Park. I said, that's great, guys, but it's the same thing as wedding bells or breaking up that old gang of mine. He said, no, it isn't. It isn't. I said, it is. It's the same song. And they never got over that. They never got over it. And he probably still talks about it. Oh, yeah. That song you guys wrote, Susquehanna Park. That yeah, that, that got Nori Amsterdam in big problems there, you know, stealing somebody else's medley. Remember <laughs> that song, remember that song, Rum and Coca-Cola, that right. uh, Nori, Nori, oh, Nori, yeah. Am, Nori Amsterdam claimed he wrote the thing. And then some, some guy from the islands came forward and said, no, you didn't, I wrote it. And they sued him and they, they got to the Supreme Court. And uh, wow. they got, the, the guy from the islands won and Nori had to surrender the whole thing. It was, it was really... Uh, Really a messy, messy lawsuit. Yeah, the one the Andrews sisters did, uh, rum and right. Coca-Cola. Okay, I didn't know that he claimed to write it. Yeah. Uh, Same thing happened with the song Avalon. The oh, song really? Avalon comes from some opera. Some European famous opera guy wrote that thing, and when they wrote Avalon, it, and, and they went to some kind of court, international court, and the people, the heirs of the composer of the opera won. Wow. <laughs> Uh, uh, very, uh, well, there were a lot of songs that are similar. There are a lot of songs that are similar. Right. Dang. And uh, when it when it comes to proving somebody stole a song, you've got to have a sequence of notes. And I forgot how big the sequence is, but you've got to have a sequence of notes that are dominant in the song that, and uh, are the same as, as, the, as the predecessor version. Because... Mm -hmm. That uh, you know, just having the same chord changes or, or right. something similar doesn't count. If it's well, look up, look up the song Avalon on like Wikipedia, you'll see that. If you Avalon, if you look up Avalon as to who wrote it, then Fake Book it'll tell you that Al Jolson wrote it. Al Jolson, that's right. It'll tell you Al Jolson, even though he didn't. But look it up on Wikipedia; it'll tell you the story of that opera. It that's was, interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Danny wrote some interesting uh, tunes. One of them was My Balls Are Blue. Yeah, remember that? <laughs> balls are blue for fucking you. I got a rash. He never played those songs for us. He said, oh, yeah. the next line was, and now you say I don't love you, I say your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a, a, la a, a last set song, Barry. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah last off forever. It's like, you know, that's the last <laughs> night you're ever going to work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you know, big guys did that too. When Peter, when we were working at Disney, you remember a Hoop to Do review? Yeah. Okay. That was written by uh, Johnny Mercer. They never got, they never got permission to use the song. Oh. Disney didn't get to use Ooh. it. So 40 oh, years, wow. 40 wow. years after they started using the song, the Johnny Mercer uh, Corporation came in and said, now, wait a second, we've got that song. How can we use our song? And Disney said, we can use it. It's, you know, it's free and clear. No, 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 we still own it. Disney paid millions of dollars to the Johnny Mercer Corporation wow. for, for that hoop de do oh. review, hoop de do polka. Yeah. Yeah. I had to giggle at that just a little bit from Disney. Yeah, Hoop yeah. Do. I, I remember Hoop De Do. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we used to, we'd go there when, when. Yeah, but the way Disney sues people for using Mickey Mouse and all that stuff, you can bet <laughs> nobody wants to let them get a freebie. Oh, oh. Right. So. I I remember one time that uh, Paul McCartney said 
anytime you spell Beatles with an A, you owe me money. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Huh. They had that baby locked up. You couldn't use it. Oh, yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't use their name for anything. Huh. Well, look, a few years ago, like in the last 10 years, Sam Butera was at a local bar. You know who he was, Sam Butera? There are witnesses. She was, a, she was, a, she was a sax with Prima, He was a right? sax player for Louis Prim and did the arrangement that uh, Just a Gigolo and I Ain't Got oh, No okay. Body. Oh, yeah, he was that. a he was he was a crazy he was a crazy man, but and fun so to he was at this bar and in walks David Lee Roth. Remember, he did the same exact arrangement years right. later. Oh yeah, same sure. exact arrangement. And the two of them were in the bar together. And Butera walked up to David Lee Roth right here in Metairie, where I live. Oh yeah. Butera walked up to him, and David Lee Roth said, "Sam Butera, I've been wanting to meet you a long time." Butera said, "Where's my fucking money?" <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So, yeah, well, well I, no, Ira just got on. Uh, they they changed the date of the reunion, you said, to the 15th or something like that? Right. <clears throat> well, as I say, it's it's 90% certain, but it's really, wait, I, we've got to wait just a bit for Marty to tie up some loose ends and uh, then we're, then we're good. Bill would Wheel would be good to do, good to go. Okay. Hey, Marty. What was the with the other weekend? The weekend before. One, yeah. One. What was the matter with that? Marty, why don't you give us a report on your activities, dude? I haven't done anything. Thank <laughs> That was a great, concise report. Yeah. <laughs> but accurate. I, I, been, not, it would have been more awkward. I ain't got shit. <laughs> yeah. I know I nothing. I know nothing. I know nothing. I know the 15th. Colonel uh, I like we got the right guy in this key position here. Good, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a better deal on the hotel from a different hotel, the one that we originally wanted last year. Uh, at, uh, the same sort of room thing, but 155 at night. And that's Ooh. right. Across the alleyway from the school we want to play at. Cool. Uh, I also have the deal going forward with the uh, the place called the Bar, where uh, galvanized jazz band is going to play and entertain us on Saturday afternoon. We just have to drink beer and eat pizza. Well, you guys drink beer. I'm retired. We can handle that. You're I tired from drinking beer. Oh boy. <laughs> no such thing. That's a roll, is it? Yeah. I don't expect any uh, problem with them, but uh, most of those places I can't reach them today, holiday. Uh, I will reach these people at the beginning of the week. So we're looking at October 15th through 17th now? Yes, sir. Okay. Man, that's better. That's great. What I'm not sure of, and we'll have to determine after Jim and I get back some feedback from the people we write to, is how many people want to stay over on Sunday night, because if we're playing Sunday afternoon, I don't know who the hell wants to rush out to an airport or what they want to do. Uh, so that's all. Uh, they'll be ready for us one way or another. I tell the people at the hotel that some people might stay, and we'll deal with that when we come to it. Um, other than that, it's all it's a little bit in flux. Uh, the people that Joel was dealing with on the Hamden location that we played at about, I don't know, I guess about six years ago, uh, which is a different town just north of, uh, of New Haven, had a pretty good auditorium and it was not a big deal when we played there and that was nice. And he was trying to contact this lady and trying to contact this lady. Turned out she retired about four years ago and somebody else is doing it. So now he's uh, trying to get with this other guy and, and figure out if they're okay for Saturday night. And uh, the school is still the same as what it was that I can't get a final word until August when they get the school year calendar done. 
We yeah. act, it, from now, it seems horrible to me. It drives me crazy, to be honest with you. But last year, we didn't have things locked in until the uh, beginning of March. And we were talking about doing it at the end of June. So I guess the beginning of August wouldn't be too bad compared to that. So we'll see what happens. But it's going forward. And uh, as Jim said, we reacted to uh, the requested date change so that mm -hmm. more of the guys could make it. And that's it. You know, we'll keep Good doing job. it. Good job. Good job, Marty. Yeah. Where'd yeah. you go, Marty? Thank you. <clears throat> So he still got us playing, playing Saturday night, a concert Saturday night and a Sunday afternoon concert. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And no playing Friday night? Or no. be more, more right. sit-in type stuff, jam session stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, you know, get drunk in the hotel, play a lot, and then <laughs> crawl up to bed, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what well you know what, Marty? He oh, wanted to Night. One. Are they going to have a room for us to play in a hotel that first night? Yes. That's good, because if you remember, for Carnegie, the problem with that hotel, that was a perfect place, except for we need to stop playing early. Yes. <laughs> remember that? In the lobby, we were playing that lobby, and they wanted to cut out at 9 o'clock. Yep. Well, that's past my bedtime anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're Seven, good in your age. On a, a, a long running buffet and a room, and I'm going to go look at them next week to see what they're for us. And, um, you know, originally, and even going into uh, a week or two, people <laughs> wanted us to go somewhere and play on Friday night, and Jim and I talked them into not doing that and just letting the guys relax in the hotel as they get in because who the hell knows when people are getting in. <clears throat> so it's Friday night will be relaxation, and Saturday yeah. afternoon. And then we're playing someplace Saturday night, someplace Sunday afternoon. Okay, is Maury still on for Friday night? No. Yes, no. A lot of trouble last year. Uh, Well, the long and short of it is they gave us a lot of trouble. It was going to be, <laughs> it was going to cost us a lot and they wouldn't let us charge anything. And they were hassling us about the playing. And although Joel was, I've seen Joel play there several times. Yeah. So uh, we finally gave up on that one. We were looking at another place in Yale, uh, uh, I guess it's like a, their newest version of a frat house. They don't allow the frat houses to have people in them anymore. But uh, we were looking at that, and I'm glad we're not doing that. I just, it would drive me crazy to try and get everybody there, number one. And number two, if there's all these college kids, uh, that's not going to be a real good audience. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure drinking in that place, they're not going to want to hear us. We need yeah. an octogenarian audience. Exactly right. Exactly right. We and need a cruise, a cruise ship on, audience. Come on down to Florida. Yeah. You could stop playing at 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we we're actually only a couple of blocks from Yale New Haven Hospital. We could probably go play there. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. It is close, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, just a comment about Maury's. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, um, since Mike mentioned it, I, uh, I've never been thrilled with Maury's. I, it, it's got a great nostalgic value. I mean, it's a, it's a landmark and, and all that kind of thing. It's very, very steeped in Yale history, but uh, you know, it's just a little, it's just a little shithole bar as far as I'm concerned. I, 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 can't, I can't see entertaining people there at all. Well, okay. I played. I played there two or three times in the back room, and it, 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 it and it's it seats about thirty people, maybe. Yeah, it's just 
you know, it's 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 a it's a place that you want to play because it's so nostalgic and so embedded in the in the whole New Haven and Yale tradition. On the other hand, if you were picking a place to play, that wouldn't be it. Okay, well, I didn't know. We don't like little shit holes. We like big shit holes. Yeah, big that's fun. That's right. <laughs> right. Oh, very no true, Coda. Tell it like it really is. <laughs> Top of my head, the charges. Uh, something like fifty bucks a head for uh, a meal. Yeah, well, where is that? Fifty bucks a head. Wow. And, and that's a head. Oh, in New York, that gets you an appetizer. Mm. Fifty yeah. bucks a head. I'm gonna get some head. Very. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Rick can provide fish sandwiches for nine bucks a piece. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Marty, you're doing a good, a fine job. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Marty. Right, yeah, man. Can we go over the song list again, item by item? I missed some of them. <laughs> well, I think you guys have to each individually drop your own notes to Joel about the ones that give you a problem, and then he'll react, and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. it's exciting crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You, you want you want to go over them and take notes, Marty, or what? No. <laughs> okay. No. Notes to uh, to Joel about the ones that you have concerns about. Yeah. So and some stuff I don't know if you heard it. Like it said a verse to the hot time in Old Town tonight. Yeah, all of us are saying we never heard a verse. We got to play the verse of "You Are My Sunshine." We never heard a verse. Right, verse. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now we'll just give him the feedback, and then he'll react to it, and we'll go on. We got plenty of time. We got songs between now and then. You want to change words? We could go to the waiters' uh, songs. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll throw those in anyway. Do you plan on having the uh, different bands from the different clubs like we did in Carnegie? No, Joel says no. No. I, One band. One group. I One think that's good because we did that already. Yeah. That's something we did. So he's also talking about doing something where some people could get off stage for a while. And I'm not sure how he's going to work that. But, uh, Ooh, that I, I didn't know that. I didn't hear that one. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> that was his idea with that banjo thing, uh, Jim. That uh, oh, the, would, the five, five solos, then everybody else can leave. Five, five banjo solos in a row. That that go over. No, five <laughs> banjo players playing. Everybody else is off stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, I gotta leave. Take care. Oh, oh so Peter. 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 Right. Take care, Peter. Peter. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. So long, guys. Take care, Peter. Thanks. Peter oh. said, said, send a note to Joel. He can't fire you anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Barry. Yes, sir. Hot Tommy Old Town Tonight is done by Louis Armstrong and All Stars with a, with a verse. I don't know what the verse is. I was trying to say. I'm, I'm just saying that Louis did it with the verse. I'll see if I can find it. Oh, okay. I got the verse here. It don't make any sense. Play <laughs> come, on, come on along. Get ready. Wear your grand, brand new clothes. There's a, going to be a meeting in the good old, good, good old, old town. When you know everybody and they all know you, and you get a rabbit's foot to keep away from hoodoos. That's the lyrics. That's the that's the verse. Then, you yeah, went, we, then it's when you hear the preacher has begun. Bend down low. Mm -hmm. let it fun. Yeah. None, none of these words I've ever heard before. No. All I remember is our version of uh, old, late last night when we were all in bed, old lady Leary left the lantern in the shed. 
I'll get yeah. over here's what he said. Yeah, yeah that's all I know. Hot time and old times, and, and then we would segue into the uh, the, the uh, Hindenburg disaster and what else? Oh, <laughs> we, had we had our disaster. We had our disaster medley. Yeah. Well, we have red hot time and old time. Yeah, and the I'm of in Lakehurst, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. I saw the Lindbergh baby. Yeah, the Lindbergh baby. Oh, oh no! <laughs> you will be played that almost every night in New York. Mm. That's a little bit too deep in the songbook. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Barry. Yeah, a little deep. So he'd be playing what song every night? Uh, be a red hot time in Lakehurst, New Jersey. New Jersey, when the Hindenburg yeah, lands. When the Hindenburg lands tonight. All the way from Germany, she came home to us with a legend yeah, on her play, side. It's a New Jersey that, lost. that always got the crowd. They've got them oh, yeah. to get yeah. up and go to the bathroom and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know if those were the right words, but they uh, that's the ones, the only ones I remembered. You know, that's um, cute song. Yeah, yeah we should make up our own word. You are my sunshine. We made it kind of pornographic too. So I don't know what oh, the yeah. verses Joel was planning to sing. You know? <laughs> Anything we could do with double entendres, we did. Okay. I'll get back to Sister Enix. Uh, we're getting the changes locked in. Right now, I got to go. Okay, Marty. Thanks for right, okay, Marty. Yeah, bye. Hey, Marty. Care, Marty. Bye. See you next time. Another Marty. report next week. See you, Marty. Okay. I'll be, we'll be in touch, Marty. See you later. Yeah. Good night, Marty. Good night. Good night, Gracie. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good, night. Good night, John Boy. Good night. John Good night, Boy, yeah. Good night, John Gracie. Good night, Chet. Good night, David. Well, we, I'm glad that we got a good another guy. Besides you, Gim, I mean, you're doing a good job too, but another guy that's got feet on the ground there. Well, he so. lives there. So it's, 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 he's a natural, and he, he knows what he's doing, so that's fine. He's great. Yeah, that's good. That's great. That's great. That's great. That message. Yeah. Ariana, about a man who Ariana's birthday. So, Mike Johnson, you think you could talk to Joe Petroselli and since the dates are changed, y'all could drive up now? Well, I know Joe's planning on being there, and I don't think the dates matter to him. Okay. But I, whether or not I can go, I, I, I just doubt it. But we'll see what happens as time gets closer, Barry. Good. Well, that'd be anyway, like, Jim, Jim we'll all be everybody from the Denver group uh, know about the date change where the musicians and the bartenders, waiters, and everybody. Well, Mike, if you come off the mountain, you'll have a lot more oxygen anyway. <laughs> that's, <true. laughs> that's That's an old wives' tale, Tom. It doesn't really work. Yeah. Really. So, so, Kim, are you going to put out an email like what you did a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. Say the day change, or are you going to wait until something gets a little more concrete? Well, I'd, I'd like to have something more concrete, but, uh, you know, like well, where the hotels are and things of this fashion. But, right. Uh, That'll be good. Yeah. But there'll be, there'll be a, you know, the, uh, the, the communication has to be in two parts, right? And Marty has to communicate with the, uh, the service folks, the, you know, bartenders, waiters, and managers, and what all. And I'll, I, my communication will go to the, uh, the musicians. And I'm still chasing down some people. I, I, the list has grown from, I got about 15 more people to put on it when we send this next mailing out. Cool. So I need to get, I need to get that. So two, my, I got two gates. One, one is to get, complete the musicians list. And at that point, it'll be frozen. Because right? once you, once we start down that road, we, we, uh, it'll, it'll be, uh, it'll be, we'll, we'll be, we'll be on track to the finish. And the other, the other point is I need to have, uh, some, some facts to put in there other than the, other than the fact that the, uh, the data has changed. All right. They have to know what it's going to cost them. Yeah. Uh, Joel is, Joel has said he's going to work out the numbers and I, I haven't seen anything and he didn't mention it, but I asked him about it on when we talked the other day and he, he didn't have it done. So he's, he's still, so I don't know what his financial arrangements are going to be. Uh, who's going to pay for what? And how much the bills are going to be, and uh, all that kind of thing. I have no idea. You know, Gim, I noticed on the on the on the program from last year, the schedule of events. They had tickets being fifty bucks a piece. Is that going to be the same? I have no idea. I, I he's going to charge something for these concerts, but I have no idea what the what it is, and uh, and. Uh, what the money's going to go for? I really don't. Miles gets to pay fifty dollars to hear you play, Mike. No, no. <laughs> at least I wouldn't at pay least. fifty dollars to hear me play. At least, <laughs> at least. But when you think about it, 
I mean, a lot of people say, yeah, I'm going. I'm definitely going. But when you figure $150 a night for three nights a hotel, maybe four, right. an airfare, and oh, then yeah. some oh, yeah. company right. itself, you know, to be a part oh. of the reunion. Oh, you know, sure. Incidentals, you're talking a nice a lot of money. I'd have yeah, to make some time, uh, oxygen uh, arrangements, too. Yeah, for nighttime. These don't work tonight. I got to have a constant flow at night. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Hey, are you on oxygen 24 hours a day? Yep. Who's your oxygen provider? Uh, I've got energy and equipment, but a Priya. So, so all that's going to cost us all a lot of money when we say, yeah, we're going to go. Some people, I think. <laughs> At the last minute, when all these costs get explained to them, they're going to say, Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we have to be able to explain them a rough idea of what it's going to cost before we can get a number of who's coming. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, well, you figure if they're doing two concerts, then it'd be a hundred bucks for everybody to go see it, too. I mean, for the, the waiters and everybody else to go 50 bucks. Absolutely. You know? yeah. No, they'd, they'd have to be comped, man. They'd have to be comped. Well, the waiters. Hope so. Everybody that's associated with the reunion has to be comp for those comments. I hope so. I hope so. How much think spouses are going to pay? You think? I hope not. Oh, no. I hope not, too. Mm -hmm. Well, how much, of course, I guess, like you said, you need the, the numbers first, because I don't know how much of the total cost was supposed to get subsidized that, by tickets for the show and all that. You know, but, <clears throat> I will tell you, for Carnegie, the spouses paid. Yeah, I bet. Did they really? Okay. Yeah. I know my I know my kids pay. I know my kids pay. Yeah, they they paid. Spouses paid for Carnegie. Yes, they did. Hmm. I'd be anxious to see how many people, when they see yeah. the cost, will still be uh, wanting to come. That's, yeah. that's my point. That's my point. There's there's an airfare, which isn't cheap. You might get some people who don't want to fly. We don't know what's going to be going on at that point. Well, I'm just starting to think yeah. about that. Okay. I'm just going to drive to Tom's and he's going to take us in this Winnebago. Pick right. <laughs> oh, us up on the way, Bill. Tom, huh? pick me up on the way there. Just come a yeah, little I'll, south. Just yeah, that's right. I'll pick, yeah. I'll pick up Rick and then we'll swing by and pick up Ira and then we'll come up to Tom's and we'll drive that's up to Winnebago. Yeah. You know, I just hope this doesn't turn. Hope this doesn't turn out to be a, a performance weekend where you're tired and your butt's dragging. I'd much rather sit around and bullshit and have a beer with with all you yeah. guys. Oh, that, that's fine. I think you only need a concert on Saturday night. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. I'll, I'll drink to that. Yay! I don't play, yeah. but I agree because I'm <laughs> sitting around talking and some people playing, and that's that's a lot it's more like, fun. It would be like a, a an overgrown Zoom meeting. It would be great sit around bullshit. What are you doing? What's your wife? Yeah. Doing? You know, etc. What's your wife? That's, that's, that's my idea. That's my idea of a reunion now. And also, yeah. while, while we while we do the sitting around, we got to figure out some kind of Zoom thing for like Jeff and the people who can't come. You know? Absolutely, that's great. Yeah, How that, that shouldn't be a problem though, Tom. Right? No, no. But it'd be we got to we got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That was real. Yeah, if we just well, bring out. Run. I wrote to Jeff this week. week. Right, to see All right, Rick. Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. See you, David. See you next hey, week. Hi, Dave. See you. Yeah. Oh, Dave. Okay. Hey, well. I wrote Bye, to Jeff this see week to see if he was okay, but he didn't answer, so I don't know. Yeah, he might have been playing with the nurse. <laughs> yeah. The head nurse. <laughs> the head nurse. Yeah. Yeah, the head nurse. <laughs> head nurse. Send in, <laughs> send in the head. Send in the head notice. Joan sent a note. She her business has been really busy, so she hasn't been able to join us for a while. But she's still interested. So yeah, she oh, said she's up to her neck in cupcakes or something like that. And yeah. bunnies, yeah, right. Right. brownies and bunnies. Brownies, brownies and bunnies. bunnies. Yeah. I go the brownies, maybe not the bunnies. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Easter Sunday, going to that place for brunch. For brunch, sure, that'd be a good idea. Sure. sure. Mm. At East. Yeah. Easter's Easter's are natural for her place, yeah. Oh yeah. I'll bring up the I'll bring up the cost estimate business with Joel this yeah. week to see what he's got to say. 
because I, I agree with Ira that it's a, it's a key point. We really need to make that. Uh, if the next communication ought to have some indication as to what uh, it's going to cause or what, what, how the, how the, uh, how the event's going to flow. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and then every, then everybody makes individually makes their uh, points about the songs. I got, I got my own comments and I'll send those off to him as well. We'll give him a lot to do. We'll keep him busy. Yeah, we yeah, are six months, right? Yeah, six months from now, yeah. Six, yeah, seven months. Fast. That's it. That's not a lot of time. <clears throat> yeah. Well, let's see how close Barry comes. What do you say, Barry? 35 and 15? It might be less now that I'm thinking about the costs involved. Yeah, well, that's another thing, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to get anybody from California coming in here. We're going to. You guys will probably be the long the, the, the ones coming. Well, you got, you got a lot of you got a lot of people in the Denver area. I know there's three or you four guys from a big there. That trips. includes New Orleans too, man. A long way to go up in New York. Oh, you Mike, who do you think from the Denver area would be coming? Three or four or five. Four or five. Okay. Four or five. Ted Turner three. might come. Ted Turner. Ted Turner's Gene, West, Gene Weston will come, won't he? Get Gene Weston to come. I think he will, but I've sent him stuff. I've sent uh, emails to all the guys who were waiters and bartenders and haven't heard back from any of them but one. So I don't send, know. Send me Gene Weston's email, will you? I'll send it to you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I gave you. I gave Tom Bill Clark's uh, email, email address, and he sent it out, and he didn't show. So I don't know. Now I'll call LeBeau after last week's call. He said he's definitely interested. Well, Where's I know Richard here? Kelly's Where's interested. There's two or three other guys in Denver. Well, H will probably be up there from Denver. Who? H, will, H from H Johnson, Harold Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's, in, De De he's in Denver now. Well, no, no, he's, he's not in Denver. He's in Florida. He, he, right, he, but he's from the Denver club. Yeah, Denver that's where club. he started. Yeah, yeah. Harold Johnson said he's coming. He's coming. Harold Johnson sent me a note. He's coming. Great. Mike Gentry, do you remember Jim Colm? Absolutely. No, Mike Gentry. Do you remember yes. Jim Colm? He, I've, I've contacted him, and he's very, very interested. I thought he was a trumpet player. No, tuba and piano. Tuba. Very good tuba piano player. A very good tuba player, piano, and singer. What's his name, What's Jim Colm? Colm, C-A-L-M. I can calm down, Barry. Relax, brother. <laughs> no, I, I never heard of him. I've never oh, heard you of did? him. Okay, he was towards the end. He's a good friend, and uh, he'd uh, he and I'd be glad to share a room. Oh, no, yeah, unless he brings me. his wife. Huh? Unless, unless he brings bring, his wife. I don't brings, know what he's. I don't know. But. If he brings his wife. Snake really wants to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Barry. <laughs> Yeah, Look, maybe everybody can maybe everybody can share a room. They can say, "Yeah, we fifty people come in. We need four rooms." Yeah, right. There are four rooms. There you go. Yeah. Look, no sleeping. No sleeping allowed. I heard this story, y'all. Listen to this one. If you have, I got a question for you. If you have two Santa Clauses sliding down the chimney at the same time, how can you tell which one is the banjo player? Oh, jeez. Huh? Two Santa Claus slide down the chimney at the same time. How can you tell which one plays the banjo? The one holding the Easter basket. <laughs> yeah, that's good, Barry. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. I said, there's nothing like a good joke, and there's another, nothing like a good joke. Another freaking another, another freak, banjo players. Another freaking banjo joke. <laughs> how do you how do you tell the how do you tell the stage is level? Because the banjo player drools out of both sides of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> That's even better for drummers. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Uh, oh, hey, well. guys, I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out, you guys. Okay. Good night, Mike. See you later. We'll see what progress we make this week. See you next week. So long, guys. See you all next week, guys. See you next week. Sounds good. Sure all right. Yeah, I'm see sending in a waiter's list for songs, so we're we'll okay. Good night, everybody. Thank night, you, Tom. Y'all have, have a good weekend. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. See y'all later. Bye, y'all. Happy, 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 happy Easter. Easter. Yeah, enjoy the grandkids. All right, yeah. Tom. Thank you, Tom. Okay. See you later. See you Bye, Tom. See you later.
So uh-huh. how to Emily. I will. Is your son still in town? No, he left, but I'll give you a call this weekend. Okay, we'll talk to you. Talk All right. To you.